Okay, hi guys. I'm finally back with another tutorial. I'm so sorry it took me so long. I've been really busy and things have been going on. So yeah, finally I, I managed to find time to do it. Um, I wore this look out the other day when I was working, when I went out for appointments. And um, I got so many um, compliments. So I decided to do it. It's really simple. For those who ask me how I did it, this is for you. It's really simple. Um, I used basically three main eyeshadows um, from Sugar Pill, the pink and the purple. And yeah, it's just basically, it's just the, the blending technique and it's very simple. You can do it with any other colors of your choice. So you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing now. I hope you try it out and I, if you want to know how I did it, keep watching. Okay, to begin, I'm using my new favourite base which is the Bitch Slap Cosmetics Corrector and this one is in light. Can you see that? Yeah. So, um, basically it's like, it's a concealer but you can use it as your eyeshadow base and this is what I'm using now. And it really really makes a whole lot of difference to how your colours look, your eyeshadows look. So yeah, I'll put a link to where you can get this. Okay, so the next color I'm using will be um Dolly. Oh, I can't remember the name. Dolly Pink or I can't remember what the sugar pill pink is called. I depotted mine. So basically it's a uh, hot pink and it looks like that. I'm using this pink for the lid colour and then um, the purple from Sugar Pill which is Poison Plum. I'm using that on the outer crease. Okay, next you want to blend out the crease and apply a crease colour. Um, I'm using this colour which is like slightly orange. So anything that is close to your skin tone. It's not really close to my skin tone but something that will blend out your crease to make the transition colour. And I'm using my fluffy brush, my fluffy blending brush. And I just blend out this harsh line. Next, you want to go for Poison Plum. Um, yeah, it's a sugar pill colour. And if you don't have sugar pill eyeshadows by now, you have to go get it. It is one of the best eyeshadows I own. Oh yeah, I'm using a dome crease brush okay at this point if you feel you need to touch up on your pink let's go ahead Okay, next for the inner tear duct, I'm using a, a light frosty pink. Um, the one I have is from Inglot. You can use whatever you have. Let me see. It's, um, this is the one I have. Light pink with lots of sparkles. And this is the Inglot AMC it's Shine for the small um, detail brush. We're just going to apply that to my tear duct area. A 
Okay, so next, just apply highlight of your choice. Okay, so for my um, lower lash lower lash line, uh, sorry my water line, I'm just going to line my eyes with black. I'm not bringing it down any lower because I just want this to be a wearable look. Okay, so I went ahead and did my top eyeliner, my mascara and I also did my blush and my highlight and so on. So let me show you what I used for my blush. I used Bobbi Brown um, Soft Pink. Okay, it doesn't zoom but basically it's, um, it's just a nice pink colour. Pinky, purpley colour. So that's from Bobbi Brown and as for my highlight, I use this product from BYS and um, it's it's the Baked High Shine Bronzer. I got this from Australia so it's not available in Singapore. This is gorgeous gold um, bronzer. I use that on the top of my cheekbones. If you have enlarged pores like me from acne, please do not apply things like this around that area. Avoid stuff like that. Um, avoid products like this around areas with um, enlarged pores because they will just make it look bigger so for me I don't apply it around here I apply it right here right on top of my cheekbones um, and directly under my eye so just on this area okay so you don't want to apply any shiny products on um, areas with um, en enlarged pores um, what's next? okay so for my lips I use this color from Revlon it's just a nice pink colour like this and it's um, Stormy Pink 011. Camera doesn't zoom. So yeah, that's my um, lipstick and on top of that I put um, this gorgeous lip paint from Inglot in number 57. Okay, it's a really really nice Barbie pink. Uh, so yeah, that completes the look. I really hope you guys try it out. It's really simple. Um, using just few colours. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.